Hello friends, welcome for another question of the day for your MR Chem Primary. Here we are going to see another upper limb anatomy question. If you are liking the series of questions and want more, please state the topic you want me to cover in the comment section below and hit that like button. Stay tuned till the end. Which of the following may occur as a result of this pathology? Loss of arm abduction up to 15 degrees loss of arm abduction beyond 120 degrees, loss of sensation over radial and dorsal forearm, weakness with adduction and external rotation, winged scapula. So in this question, first we need to identify the pathology. Then we will dissect the answer choices given. Take a pause and select one of the choices and then we would proceed further. Let us dissect the question. So, if you look at the x-ray given, the pathology is left humerus surgical neck fracture. So, there is a fracture surgical neck of humerus. Which nerve stays over here? And if you stated axillary nerve, you are absolutely correct. So, axillary nerve lives over here. Now, let us dissect the options given. Option A states, Loss of arm abduction up to 15 degrees. So which muscle does that? That is supraspinatus. And the nerve supply for supraspinatus is suprascapular nerve. But we are looking for the axillary nerve. So let's look at option B. It says loss of arm abduction greater than 120 degrees. And that is the function of trapezius. And the nerve supply for trapezius is cranial nerve 11. Option C says loss of sensation over radial and dorsal forearm. This is supplied by lateral antibrachial which is C5, C6. That's not really high, high yield but it's a distraction. So let us move to option D. Option D states weakness with adduction and external rotation. So unable to adduct and external rotate and that is the functionality of teres minor muscle teres minor we saw in our video today morning teres minor is the muscle which is part of rotator cuff and is supplied by axillary nerve so this may be the right answer but just for completion sake let us look at option e it states winged scapula winged scapula is due to the weakness of serratus anterior and the nerve supply is nerve to serratus anterior which is a direct branch of c5 c6 c7 roots of brachial plexus so the right answer over here is weakness with adduction and external rotation which is option number d i hope you enjoyed the video please do like share and subscribe for more such questions till then happy studying and peace